Welcome to Survival Theory. I'm out in the woods. I want to keep a low profile, stay stealthy. I don't want to be seen if anyone's out here. It's raining, so I need some shelter. And I don't want to construct anything elaborate or anything too tall. Again, stealthy. Low is stealthier. And also, most of the underbrush comes up to about here at the most. So I need to stay low and trap some heat in because it's going to get colder tonight. All signs point to a plow point shelter, so let's get busy. Now I could set up a plow point shelter anywhere, just about. Plenty of trees here. However, pits in the ground, areas where the water runs off, you know, the underbrush everywhere. If I'm going to set up a shelter and spend the night in it, I need to get a good night's sleep. Here's a spot where the ground is level enough for a comfortable sleep. There's not a lot of growth there, a lot of pine needles to cushion it. So that's a great spot. And there's not many out here like that. So we'll set up right here. So for my tarp, I've got an AquaQuest Defender 10x10. This is a huge, heavy-duty tarp. Of course, you can use any tarp, a poncho, even a trash bag, a 55-gallon will work. I want to sleep right here, so I'm going to run the tarp from this tree towards the camera. So I've got the tarp spread out based on where I want to sleep. The best ground is right here, running this way. With my head around here, my feet going right there. So I've spread the tarp out on this diagonal to where I'm going to be sleeping. So now we'll get it set up by running a ridge line from this tree to a ridge line on that tree. Now it's not raining hard, but it is raining. So I want to protect my gear and go ahead and put it about where I'm going to be sleeping. Now while I get this set up, my gear is protected and it gives me a reference point to where I want my body to lay. Look at that, barely enough, but we can stretch it tight. And it turns out to be enough after all. Just a simple slip knot. We're good to go. So now I've run the ridge line in line with where I want to sleep. And again, I've got my backpack under there to keep it dry and that's my reference point of where I want to sleep. I've got my ridge height probably about elbow height you can run it higher or lower depending on your needs but that's below the line of the underbrush around here. So to secure this corner of the tarp to the ridge line I'm just going to put a prussic knot in there It's going to keep your ridge line tight, but you can still move it. So we'll just pull this up here, slip it through this loop, grab a stick, there we go, secured. So now we have that corner secured to the ridge. I'm going to pull this corner tight, stake it down. You can use stakes you brought with you, a stick, 
whatever it takes. So again, we need another prussic knot on the ridge. through our loop. We'll just put a stick in there to hold it, toggle. We'll pull this until it gets tight. There we go. So now we can take these wings or this corner, pull it tight, stake it down. Now we'll come to this other corner, pull it tight just like we did over there, stake it down. So there you go. You're staking down three corners. You've got this ridge line. It can be run as low or as high as you want it. Corner, center is on the ridge line. Of course, that corner over there is staked down, giving you three staked down corners. And underneath, especially with the 10 by 10, look at that. More than enough room. There's my backpack. That's my reference point where I want to sleep. I've got plenty of room for other gear to store firewood, kindling. I'm all set and because of the design even if you don't have everything real tight this will shed water it's all running downhill so we're good to go now as far as extra wind resistance and security you can take each of these centers you can run a guy line secure that you can stake down this center as well as well as that center and then run another guy line so that would make it extra heavy duty as far as any kind of movement or wind but we're good to go for now and we're going to stay dry and low profile and see how well it stays hidden now here we are at about 35 to 40 feet away it's right there it's pretty good Now here we are about 100 feet away. I'm losing where it is. Okay, I think that's it right there. So good to go. You see that? What I've done here is I've covered it lightly with pine needles and leaves. Not thick, because when you put them thick, they have a tendency to slide off. But just enough to break it up. I hide the edges in the corners, so it takes away the shape. Then the coloring gets lost with the assortment of pine needles and leaves with some of the green of the camo still showing through. So let's see how that looks. 
So there it is. I'm only about 30 feet away and it's blending very well considering there's no underbrush to break up the form. Let's go around this way. See it? There it is. Excellent. And again, I'm only about 30 feet away, 30, 35 feet. So that's excellent. Let's go about 100 feet away uphill here. Okay, so now I'm about 100 feet away, maybe a little bit less. But it is, where is it? I think it's right. Yep, there it is right there. Very well concealed. Now I've lost where it is. Oh, yep, there it is. Right? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So a quick recap on the plow point. I'm wanting to sleep right there where my backpack is. So this is set up based on that. I run my ridge line over where I want my body to lay. I've got a slip knot here so I can pull this, get it untied, prussic knots to hold the tarp to the ridge. Another prussic knot there to hold the center of the tarp to the ridge. That gives it lift in the center. And then the three corners, which are now invisible, are staked down. We're good to go. And that's pretty good. There's, using a 10 by 10 gives you lots of room also. And I've actually got a lot of room. I could drop that another foot and still sleep quite comfortably especially as chilly as it's going to be tonight okay so let's see how long it takes to get this broken down first we'll slide our prussic over release the toggle release the toggle Pull our slip knot. Pull our slip knot. So there's our ridge line. Pull this back to get all the pine needles off. Grab our stake. Grab our stake. Grab our stake. There's our ridge line and stakes. Just run it this way. Now it's all cleaned off. We can jam this in our bag, jam the ridge line in there, the stakes, shove it in the pack, and we're gone. So my intention was to show you different tips and tricks and setup options. But that's going to be in a part two video. I just showed you the basic setup and some concealment options for the plow point shelter. So thanks for watching Survival Theory. Be sure to like, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.